Joel, are you there? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Very good. Okay, great. Um, I've got a comment, kind of, and and a question following my comment. My comment is, uh, I just I just did a photo shoot this last weekend. My first photo shoot. It was a senior shoot. Um, I did it for free with a friend of a friend, and uh, I po I I ended up uh, going on Photoshop and putting some collages together, and posted them on Facebook, and it led to three leads and actually one more photo shoot that somebody's going to pay for. Awesome. Now, That's the great. question is, I mean, this is only my second shoot, but I'm, I've had a lot of responses of people saying, man, they look good, they look professional, and, uh, and they do, I mean, honestly, they do, they look really good. My question is pricing, and that's kind of like how little is too little, and what kind of packages should I put together? Yeah, well, you know, I, that's a tough question, and I get that a lot, and I think someone else asked that in this week in the forum, and my response was, it's a hard question, <laughs> because, yeah. you know, price pricing is really a, a kind of a touch and feel thing, you know, and what I always tell people is, number one, you want to get the ball rolling, so you don't want to go and charge over the top, but you also don't want people thinking that you're cheap, all right, so the way that I like to tell people with that is, number one, see what other businesses in your area are charging. Now, I'm not saying to go do that so you can copy them and so you can do exactly what they're doing or undercut them. I don't want you to undercut anybody. What I want you to do, though, is see what the market is paying for in your area. So I think the easiest way is to just call as a client to three different studios, you know, that you might know that is, you know, small, medium, and large, you know, as far as price-wise, and see what the range is. And then what you might want to do is come somewhere in, in the middle and then say, but because I'm building up my portfolio, I'm building my business, normally I'm going to be charging somewhere in the range of, you know, $147 to $297, somewhere in that range for a, a standard session. But I'm going to do it for half price. So right now, you know, $59.95 uh, will be the session fee, and I'll include a couple of 8 by 10s I'm just throwing something out there right now, Joel. But you know what I'm saying? It's like you want to come out with something where you just put that thing out there that says, this isn't going to be my regular price. I'm going to do this for you. So now you're doing them a favor, and they're doing you a favor, but you're almost putting it back on them that because I'm building my portfolio, I'm going to offer this to you at a discount. So you always want to tell them that it's you're giving them a discounted rate for what you're normally going to charge. Gotcha. Does that make sense? It sure does. It sure makes perfect sense. Um, I actually went online to like a – you know, photo people, the, you know, the photo people, whoever they, you know, you go into their studio yep. or whatever, and I'm actually yep. doing these on site. So, I mean, oh, I'm going on site? out. Yeah, on site. I, I, I feel that the, the photos are, I mean, they're, they're really good quality, and uh, the lighting is obviously better. I mean, but uh, I looked at that, that picture people or whatever, and they had packages, and I kind of modeled something from that to where, you know, my low, like it was a, a, a bronze package, a, a gold package, a platinum package, or whatever, and the lowest one was like $50 with five sheets and five poses. Is that, does that seem too low? Five sheets and five poses? It's, it's, very, it's very low, but if you tell them that your normal price is $99, then, then I think it's okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, there's going to be people that are going to disagree with me, and, you know, that's just the way it is. I mean, I'm okay with that, but what I'm saying is, is – for people that are not established, you have to go that route a little bit in the beginning. Some people would argue and say, well, you don't want to be that way because you want to charge the best for your services. And you know what? They're right. But the other thing is you need to get the ball rolling, right? Like I just said in the earlier part of this, you got to get the ball rolling. If it doesn't start rolling, there's nothing. You can sit there and say, well, I charge you know, $550 for a session, but I only get one session a year. Well, what good is that, right? You got to get the yeah. ball rolling, and then you can slowly increase your prices. Like I was saying, when we first got started, you know, we were charging like fifty-four dollars or something for our basic thing. And and uh, I was talking to Joe the, today about it. So we were talking about the pricing question, and basically, you know, it wasn't really a great move on our part, but it got the ball rolling. And then we started to charge a little bit more, and seeing that people weren't really batting an eye. And then we started a little bit more, but then we seen what our what our 
uh, competitors were charging. So we had competitors that were like Walmart charging like 997 for like 100,000 poses, right? <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, but you know, so you got that model, right? Which I didn't even care about, and then you got another model where Pete, where this this place was offering, you know, like a free leader to get in there, but yet when they would sit you down in the posing, you know, to look at your posing, they were putting up, you know, these big screen presentations, and you were walking out of there spending a thousand to two thousand dollars on a standard family portrait, right? So gotcha. there was there was that range of products. Well, we came in. You know, and we kind of went somewhere in the middle, and people would come from that other place without us even bad mouthing them and say, "Your services are number one better. Your product and quality is better." Um, but I just don't know why they charge so much and why you charge so little. You know, and so here we were, we were charging, you know, close to five hundred dollars a lot of times, and then all of a sudden, you turn around, you got Walmart that's charging, you know, nine ninety seven for a whole bunch of crap. So right. that's why when, when people say to me, you know, I couldn't charge that in my area. Well, people are buying iPads every day of the week in your area. You know, everybody's buying the Beamers in your area. They're buying, you know, the best jeans in the area, two hundred dollar jeans. They're buying what they want, you know, and what they right. what they what they feel they need. Your job is to make sure that you can convince them that what you what you have to offer is what they need. You know, you know what I'm saying? So we have to just and again, that's what we're gonna be getting into more of this stuff as we go through is psychology. A lot of this is psychology. A lot of it you need to bring to the surface to let people go. You know, I really need to do that because if I don't, you know, it could be it could be gone forever. My kids are growing up so fast, you know. So really, uh, to kind of sum this up, because I got on a tangent there, but basically, you need to find a happy medium. I think with what you're doing is okay. Um, I think. Let me just say another thing that you said and immediately hit me when you said fifty dollars. I say forty nine dollars. Sounds better, right? Um, gotcha. Nothing with round numbers. No fifties, hundreds. You know, ninety seven dollars, ninety nine, ninety five. You know. It, it's just like you know psychology again. You know we we just we don't like to hear that hundred. We like to hear under that. We we know we're being tricked, kind of, but it, we it's feel like the gas. It's like the gas station. Yeah, it's like the gas station. It's three seventy nine point nine. Yeah. Yeah, and exactly. It's, it's three eighty. Exactly. You know. Uh, so let me let me say something about the price ahead, too. Um, you, you know, don't look at what your competitor's charging because you don't know his cost. There are some uh, studios that do in house printing. They do their own print. So if they're not sending out to a lab. They may get cheaper prints, so you know maybe they can go as bottom line. But let me tell you a secret that I've heard from most of the name pros, and I'm talking David Zeiser, Bambi, uh, a lot of these photographers. Uh, Dennis Reggie, I heard him say it like 25 years ago when I went to his seminar. I could not afford my own price, but I still let it roll off my tongue. Okay, don't think that you have to price it something that you would buy. You'll have clients out there that could buy it. Don't deny yourself the idea of letting them purchase it. You can't be a Chevy dealer all the time when people are buying Cadillacs and Beamers. You know, if you have a Beamer on the lot, go to sell it. Put it at a price. And don't say, you know, like I said, don't think that because you can't afford that price at 500 600 for that print, doesn't mean someone else can't. Try it. See how it works. If you believe in yourself, they will. And if they say, oh, he has a $600 he must be good. Somebody's paying that. Yeah, that's a great Sounds point. Good, guys. All right, Joel. Well, we're going to try to get on to another question. I hope that helped keep us posted on it. Sounds like you got the ball rolling, though, so keep it rolling. And I tell you, that Facebook thing that's out there, I think that's going to, I think that's going to catch on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, uh, I'm going to be talking a lot more about Facebook, and I'm going to show an example here tonight. It's something that I did today that uh, was pretty cool, and I was showing Joe, and it happened just right on the fly. Um, but it's it's uh, it's amazing, and uh, you know what? It might be gone two years from now. We don't know. You know what I mean? But you know what? While it's here, let's use it, baby. Let's use it, right? Thank you. Okay, uh, we'll talk Joel's, to you later. Joel, uh, not Joel. Uh, George has been raising his hand. I think it's going to fall off. Okay, we better get to him then. I like it though. We got a lot of hands raised now. Okay, here yeah. we go. Uh, so there you go. There's a small taste of one of our mastermind calls that we're going to be doing every single month with our Inner Circle Mastermind group. And if you'd like to join, all you need to do is click the link below this video and it'll take you right to the page with all the sign up details. So I wanted to say thanks and I look forward to working with you and your business in the future. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.